I'm oddly impressed by the number of yellow homes that are up here. Just because that's quite a lot for only um, two buildings. Welcome back everyone to another mini motorways uh, playthrough. So let's play, I am wanting to do the weekly challenge. So we've got the weekly challenge in Tokyo with unlimited roundabouts, three motorways, and bridges not requiring road tiles. So let's jump right in and get started. Okay, we are off and we've got our first little place that needs to get to our business and we are a go. We've got now two places. I think I'm going to change the dynamic of this. Let's move that around to be a little more like that. And if you don't remember how many mini motorways plays, what you've got is all of these homes and workers need to get to their jobs. So you've got to connect them via roadways to get to um, these little city centers. But what you don't want to do is you don't want too much of the same lines going on just because that'll create a lot of traffic down the road. So what I'm actually going to do is switch the red back to loop around this way. And we've got to change how this looks just because that looks awful. Okay, this looks a lot better. And um, I'm going to get some traffic lights just because we don't have any yet. So that might be helpful down the road. And yes, I did just drop a road pun. Okay, another blue business popping up. So let's, okay, now that we've got two of the little homes up there, let's just connect it like that. Just because I do not want to share if I don't have to that same road because it really does overall slow you down with a lot of additional traffic. Okay, and at the end of week two, I'm going to get more road tiles just because we have those traffic lights we didn't use yet. Um, but we definitely will go through a lot of road tiles in this game. Okay, now this is where things get interesting. We've got, hmm, okay, we've got a green business over here. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, oh gosh, not a huge fan of it connecting with our blue. Let's pause it for two seconds. Okay, it's important to remember I've got two motorways. I'm going to use one of them right now just to connect the green. And then it might be worth, even though it's going to be a longer trek, just going up and around this blue business. Because I really don't want these lines to have to connect at all in any way, period. I think that's a good use, though, of that motorway. Just kind of put it in the middle. They can go directly, just because that would have cost quite a bit to build roads and bridges over there. Uh, speaking of, let's get another motorway to replace the one we used. And okay, this right here just turned into a mega city center. So we might need to send additional traffic. Not quite sure yet though how busy it'll get. Okay, and we also have now blue needing to be connected right there. Wondering though, can I use, oh, I can't put a roundabout. I don't have enough space for it. Hmm, that would have been a good spot for a roundabout, but I guess we won't be able to do it for now. Okay, now at the end of week four, let's get more row tiles. Although we already have quite a few. We've got 81, but I think we'll probably get a couple of businesses start popping up that are further away from some of their territories. Like, okay, for example, we just got this light blue, but that's not, not too bad to manage yet. Our red city center right here just upgraded. So now we've got the mega center. Oh, and we also now have an orange. Um, well, yellow, orange. I don't know. Is this yellow or is this orange? Maybe I'm a little colorblind, but I think we'll just use a motorway just because that's pretty far for these places to travel. And a couple of things just happening. We did get the green city center just upgraded to a mega city center. So let's... Um, let's attach you, but we also have now this black city center to take care of. And it looks like as well another another red city center down there. So we've got now we've got lots of lines going everywhere. Oh, week seven. We're out of bridges. Okay, let's get another bridge. We need to make up what we lost. Oh, but we've got as well. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're gonna have to use a motorway, I think, to connect this light blue city center up here. 
A lot of things starting to get just a tiny bit out of control. Man, and we've got another green one. All of our motorways are being used just to supply this green. Now a yellow city center forming down here. I think we're just gonna have to drag a line all the way down though. So I really don't wanna use a, my last motorway just to take care of that. Oh no, okay. We've got a, here, let's pause things for a second. I didn't realize the dark blue was getting so out of hand. So with that being the case, um, we're definitely gonna use, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to use the motorway. So what I'm thinking is let's connect this motorway here and just delete this line entirely. That way, okay, yeah, that way it doesn't get too out of hand. Um, those blues can go up to here and then they'll just go straight in like that. Yeah, we can see both of these starting to lower. So good, good effort there to change things up. Let's get another motorway. So now we've got, that'll be our sixth motorway in this game, which might be resembling actual Tokyo with <laughs> kind of a spaghetti bowl pattern going of undercrossing and overcrossing highways in this general region. Okay, and we officially just hit a thousand residents have made it to their destination. And with that, we're at week 10. So let's get another bridge that might be helpful here in the future. This is usually the point in the game though where things start to get a little out of hand, which I'm thinking it might be my yellows. And I'm hoping not, but I'm gonna change things up just a tiny bit to hopefully stave off any, any potential chaos down in this region. Oh, okay, we've gotta take care of this issue. Um, let me pause it. Ooh, how are we going to fix this problem? Um, I think I'm gonna have to cut up. So if we cut up like that, and we connect you down, that's going to be, I think, our best chance to eliminate that red threat right there. Which you can see now there's a million cars that wanna head over to fix this problem. Okay, that appears to have done the trick. It's definitely dropping, um, so that's good and we're back to it just being its regular self. However, it appears now that we have another problem with this city center being clear on the opposite side of Tokyo. Um, oh goodness, I think the only good way I've got of getting there is just to go via bridges, I guess. Man, that is a long drive though for anyone that's gotta go over there which there will be quite a few cars now that need to. Oh, this is creating such a mess. Reds are gonna be my downfall, but I did just get a motorway. So we might be able to eliminate half the issue right now, just because it's having this huge long line that is not boating well for us. So I think if we maybe change the game plan, come down like this and break this off a tiny bit, Maybe we can throw a motorway that just goes directly to our red section over on the far side. Oh, I think that's gonna be the end of the game though. And is that the game? Oh, that's gonna be the game. All right, well, we got shut down in Tokyo. So 2171, over 93 days. However, that should put us on the leaderboard with Okay, hey, we're the ninth best overall. So that's pretty good. I think that was, I mean, oh my gosh, a one person difference between us and La Cola, man. But if you liked this, um, let me know which um, version of mini motorways, mini motorways we should do next. So I can go to any of these cities, Munich, Zurich, Manila. But let me just know in the comments below what you'd like to see next.